What's up guys? This is the Roverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Italian States and this is an hour special. So to pick up what happened last time, ah, well we are in an interesting position right now where we actually have some fairly stable um, possessions in the Balkans. The rest of our empire is fairly safe and we are only at war with one major power which is Russia. So it's actually quite tempting to sail a force over and attempt to secure St. Petersburg as a, as a base to fight in the east to expand our territory and in time expand the number of fronts that Sweden has to cover rather than just focusing on here in Central Europe. We are only on about 29,000 income um, a year, so we do have to be careful about how much money or how uh, how much effort we put into expanding our army because we do have a, there is a limit. Um, but yeah, right now things are fairly safe, fairly safe, fairly stable. I want uh, this guy, Antigua. To go knock out the pirates, Trinidad and Tobago, and to pretty much be ready to respond to whoever declares war on me next, because <clears throat> someone absolutely will. I'm only in war with pirates and Russia, and I've made a temporary peace with the Ottomans, which will not last for too long, considering I now own one of their territories. We're slowly converting it to Catholicism. We should help chip down the religious unrest slightly, but the main problem here is resistance to foreign occupation. Um, but yes, mainly I am expanding my naval strength. That's my. That's an important goal for me, mainly because I keep losing, <laughs> I keep losing my naval, naval forces. But for now, I think it's just to keep upgrading my economy, do incremental gains, and maybe send this force to go have a look at attacking Konigsberg or St. Petersburg. I would probably like to send a sacrificial unit to go and investigate to go see what they've got. So let's send the heavy privateer. Let's see how they if they can get there, if I can get them into the Baltic So there's Gdansk. Lots of troops on the border. Okay, let's put into this naval hospital for security. And then next turn we'll try and leapfrog over to St. Petersburg. Um, yeah, let's hit end turn. Yeah. Personally, I think it's only a matter of time before the Ottomans declare war on me again, and then we'll be um, up against it. So, well, really, I suppose it might be <clears throat> wiser in the long term to oh hello to uh, be ready for that rather than doing too many fancy exp fancy expeditionary ops behind the lines. One thing I definitely need to bear in mind is I need to have ships ready to uh, well, ships ready to transport a, an army to respond to that uh, Ottoman stack that's just off the coast of North Africa. Oh, go on, see how well you do. Uh, you lost. Sunk one of theirs. Yeah, but we have not the best route for me to go down. On reflection... I think that's probably not the best thing to do. Uh, mainly because the amount of money we've got isn't a huge amount of money to be earning per turn. We really need to expand it. Okay, who joins them? Just Sweden. Right. Critical. Critical decision there.
this is it now. We've at least got forces in a good position in the Balkans that we don't have to immediately pull them all back. We do have troops. Ooh, you could have... Don't raid Newfoundland. Ah, I was about to say the first one could have... Okay, hop up to the Americas. Oh no wait, Newfoundland's not. Oh, it is ours. Sorry, I was getting my colours wrong on the map. Let's pick up my water-powered cloth mill. Let's hop back to Europe. So Sweden is once again at war with us. In which case... Uh, you guys probably group up together. Well, no, that's too much artillery, so let's get those 12-pounders out of the way. These militia can probably go... You join them for now. But let's pick up some troops. Troops what we need mostly. Might even get some Swiss pikes to help fight against cavalry. Question is, do I push? Do I push and take Strasbourg? It's an extra four grand. They've got no forces to the south. Prussia is at peace with us. Demand surrender. Strasbourg is ours without firing a shot. They may try and break through to the south, which we need to be ready for, which with probably gather troops, gather forces there. Um, okay. What I want. Let's take this unit of militia out. Let's get you recruit a first rate and two seconds. But I want to get this fella embarked I want to land them at Copenhagen sail around this knackered Swedish navy there's a Russian navy blocking the strait particularly Okay, land them in Norway. But I wanted to go for Copenhagen, but I couldn't get there. So now you march up and threaten Christiana, Norway. Uh, who are you in here? Oh, just another general. Um, okay, so you've got two artillery. Two, two field artillery, two howitzers, so let's probably get another 12 pounder and another howitzer. You've got two grenadiers, so let's go for two Swiss mountain jaeger, one Swiss pikes, and a bunch of infantry. And let's start to reinforce this front up here. They want to be tricky, I can be tricky. And you probably pick up some guards yourselves and probably pick up some Swiss line down here in Spain so I can send them, march them up northward. Well, I do need to hit the Swedes down here really somehow. I don't have much of a navy to do that. Hmm. Let's get you to Lisbon. Okay. Let's take this loop. And you can just damage Antwerp and Rotterdam, then get back to safety of Greenwich. Trying to convert you. Can you make it? No, you'd go the long way around. 
want to try keep converting the Netherlands to try and cause some religious problems. Okay. To be honest, I think there's no, no real reason to move my spy for now. The main thing is men. Recruit men, I think, is the thing I need to keep an eye on. Let's hit end turn and let's see what the Swedes do in response. Uh, no. Ideally, if I could take Norway, if I could take Norway, I could then push and take, um, I could then push towards Stockholm, capture the Swedish homeland. That would cause them some problems. Obviously, they're going to keep stealing my tech, but really, there's not a lot I can do about that. Yes, <laughs> they're pulling men away from the front because they can see the threat. I mean, obviously, I don't want to attack them because, my God. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yes, I think I do want to intercept you this would be a river battle quick climbing howitzers we will run out of ammunition so i need to be careful with that but when we start to run out of ammo i'll leave men behind to hold the fort <laughs> could really have done reinforcements but i think the opportunity is too good to miss their um individual gun batteries okay so the river's now this side Board is here. So I do want artillery. Well, one artillery covering the ford, one artillery doing some more general purpose picking off. Probably put the bulk of my infantry over here. probably won't need that many. Probably want my light horse over there. Over there. Probably both two units of cavalry over there. One on this flank. So the key is to not fill the ford with men. Although I have just realised I've something more like that. So this gunner your job is explicitly to focus on those howitzers. You can can hit some of them with quick lime.
So you keep picking out their guns. You're getting some good hits on the Fusiliers, but you're probably going to need to start round shotting it soon. Get you guys out of square because you need to get into position to engage. And hit that regiment of force. At the very least, shooting at cavalry like that can be fairly ammunition, if ammunition uh, efficient. Hit the Royal Cuirassier Guards. To be honest, you probably need to limber up. Good climb inbound. Could probably need to move my howitzers further along. What I want is for them to move more of their men away. To be honest, I might just get my artillery in just to keep this gun unit just to keep pounding the river crossing. You switch to round shot and engage the Royal Cuirassier Guards. You specifically try to target actual units now? Shot. Retarget. I want to try and knock out the horse guards and then pivot my pivot my unit here because I don't want to engage in musketry battles across the river. You start actually picking on the actual unit. Oh, they're starting to drop. Quick climb on us. Quick climb that unit of guard engineers. You probably now you keep keep engaging their gunners. If you miss, you might get still get some of their cavalrymen. Aim at their mercenaries. You guys switch to round shot and keep engaging. I want their cavalry to leave their guns alone. Okay, pivot, pivot, pivot. Do not want their quick climbing dudes to do to be able to do that amount of damage to us. So where's that? Is that twelve pounder? To be honest, they're both twelve pounder howitzer units, so I might have to send both my cavalry across the river anyway. To engage them, even though I don't really want to. But I, anyway, it's frustrating I'm not getting sound at the moment. Regiment of horse. 
light cavalry. Comes the shot. There we go. Quick climb inbound. Oh, too bad. It's actually against the wrong target. But when these guys get into position, they'll be in quick climb range, and then it will be glorious. So my other cavalry, how are you doing? Curaciers, engage. The general's bodyguard. General's been killed. Ah, oh, come on, I really need... A good quick climb shot now would be devastating. Although it's, it's frustrating we're not getting sound. I don't, I don't know why. Fire it will. Quick climb. You have some horse guards around. Second foot guards are still involved. I think you firing against firing against suitable units okay let's get you over here to help fight the 47th a lot of cavalry inbound get you guys out of square formation A lot of dead bodies inside this river. Finally, sound back. Okay. Large cavalry action over here, which may or may not go well for us. Good old quick climb. To be honest, I think it might actually be worth just letting them slug it out. We do have some reinforcements coming in, and those reinforcements are in the form, generally, of artillery. Can okay, I quickly need to attack them? You guys attack that unit of fusiliers. Just keep fighting them. enemy artillery as much as I want you guys to well you guys are probably gonna have to go to round shot and just do counter battery you guys knock out the unit of guerrilla mercenaries Regiment of Horse. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Try get the Heavy Cavalry to hold them up for as long as you can. And let's go and knock out some of these gunners. Provincial Cavalry is in no. Okay, I think this unit of 72 men, you need to get out of here.
heavy horse guard artillery. That's not good at all. Oh, come on, you guys. I thought you guys might not make it. You still might not. Nope. Shame. Cavalry's not bad. But they've routed. Here comes our own heavy horse artillery. So let's get you up on a hill and start attacking those men. Gun teams are doing a fairly okay job actually at counter battery. Oh, here comes another unit of heavy horse guard artillery. Good stuff. You start. Blasting that unit of light horse with cannons of shot, although you guys drop it straight into square formation. Drop straight back out of square formation. You start to pick on the 47th Regiment of Horse. So they're picking, their artillery is picking at our troops. But our artillery is going to start focusing on their artillery. So it's the 47th Regiment. Where's our... Okay, you guys are still engaging. You guys are starting to get engaged. Goes on limber. Send our cavalry in. Long range artillery fire starting to hit the enemy positions over here. They're not actually firing. Keep engaging. So get these guys fire it will off. Let my cuirassiers knock out the unit of sharpshooters. And probably this unit of light horse as well. Although to be honest, let's pull them back. And let's get the 29th regiment. Start hitting the line infantry guards. Cavalry as the canister shot flays in and hits more. Okay, let's get my sp this specific unit of guns to hit the 22nd unit regiment of foot. Okay, let's get this other unit of howitzers. You can now switch cut to quick lime and start trying to uh, support attacks in the center. Okay, you guys can now be fireable on to help defend yourselves. back. You guys hit this unit of hussars. There's a lot of cavalry coming in. Still more cavalry coming in. Good. The big gun team is one of the artillery teams is routed. So let's go hit the 13th with our two heavy horse artillery regiments. Let's bring my general up here to provide a bit more actual artillery support. You guys need to hit 
these cavalrymen. To be honest, these guys can probably start to come over here because it looks like they're not going to bother attacking the other bridge. This artillery unit starting the 13th foot guards. 12 pound howitzer. You start attacking them as well. Yeah, it's back in. So I've knocked over a bunch of my own dudes, killed a bunch of my own dudes, I should say. You guys start to hit the 29th. So this. This wing here is the wing that they seem to really quite like trying to attack. Lots of lovely quicklime kills. Can you... One of my units can now start to actually... Okay, you guys both engage the 35th. You guys... Hit the 27th. biggest problems is going to become ammunition. It's probably you just to keep dropping quicklam on the centre. You guys can now fire at will. Due to the presence of enemy forces. Good, we've pushed them back off. We've annihilated these guys by trailing teams. More cuirassiers. Well done. You try and intercept them early with some quick line. Actually, no, you get them. This howitzer. I oh, know, sorry. You hit them. You try and set them with quick line. There we go. It'll be the cavalry what kills us. The actual artillery, we, we've got pretty good stats on. There's another cavalry charge. Men, get these men firing. Thank Christ they routed. Artillery still coming in. Focus on that six pounder, you focus on the 27th regiment. You 
Quick climb them, you quick climb them. Good. For once we're in a position to actually do a lot of quick climb damage to a unit before they get to our front line. Still a bucket load of cavalry coming in, but holy hell. As a unit runs out of ammunition, we're going to retreat it. So I'm going to want to put you guys over here somewhere, I think. Good stuff. I was gonna say I was wondering if it might be possible to save the battle right now because I don't. This is the this is the time when the game crashes. Ooh, okay, yeah. For a minute there, I was concerned that they might attempt to cross. So I have to put a unit of grenadiers over here just in case. Comes another enemy, dead enemy general. Keep engaging the 26th. You keep engaging the 13th. You guys keep engaging the cavalry as much as you can. You just drop your quick climb in the centre. You have to tag him. Hey, you actually really managed to break. And they're shattered, okay. Don't push them up too fast. Because that's where the uh, that's where the quick climbing that's where the uh, their enemy quick climbing units can actually get us. Come on, artillery, quick climb them! Drop a big old wadger quick climb onto their battle, onto their into these positions right here. Here comes one shell. A bit behind. You guys all drop into square. Artillery's done, so let's focus, you guys focus on the 32nd if you can reach them from back. Well, you can reach them just. Hit the Marines. Come the General's bodyguard. General's bodyguard's going to be in the line of fire. Drop him back into square. It's 
So we do have the artillery advantage. Keep pounding the 32nd. These guys tried to run through and hit our guns, but they never made it. Get both of our howitzers to work on quick climbing this 25th regiment that's coming in to kill us. Okay, you pull back, put you guys, well, firstly actually, let's put you guys into the mix. Okay, you get out of the way first. You hit that regiment of dragoons. You can't actually do anything really with quick climb either. So, oh, they had for, for the first time it actually hit the guns. Oh, too bad about that friendly fire quick climb. Switch to round shot. Killed one of our gunners, so let's put one of our men into the line. So we're still bombarding the 32nd, although it looks like they may rout fairly soon. It's just a bunch of cavalry back there. You guys get out of here, you guys get out of here, you guys take up position. So who's this coming in? It is Dragoons. You get out. You keep lobbing your artillery in from max range. You are probably actually going to limber up and get closer to the river. There's another Swedish general. Here comes, the, here comes a regiment of fusiliers. These grenadiers are nearly out of ammunition. Horse. It's just still, it's just relentless. These cavalry, there's more. Oh, they're unleashing the waves of cavalry they've currently got against us, aren't they? Right. You guys drop into square formation, bring forward my cavalry. They've been killed, or they've been routed. God damn, it's going to be a case of... Yeah, we're going to be killed by their cavalry, I think. If we get killed, that is. 
That's all of our reinforcements in. You that are quick climbing, you quick climb these grenadier guards. We surely can't have too many more units. Pull back with my men. To be honest, it's getting to the point where even if they've got no ammunition, I'm probably going to keep them. Just because I can't really afford to uh, throw them away. So these are Dragoons advancing on foot. Everyone that can engage needs to engage. Oh god, look at all those artillery shells coming in. Okay, quick lime shells are extremely dangerous, dangerous. Pull back our defensive line. You pummel the hell out of the men that are on the crossing. You guys now focus on those 24 pounder howitzers. Now you guys on limber fire at will with round shot. Let's bring back the grenadier guards. To be honest, you guys might need to actually quick climb people in the centre rather than... Might need to get my both these sets of guns firing on infantry units at the rear. Because they're still coming. We're really making them pay. Climbing our, or trying to quick climb our grenadier guards. I need to be really careful here because whenever I see one of those frame rate drops, that's when the game is ripe to just crash and all of this effort goes down the drain. So much so i'm actually chopped the recording here just in case so if you guys if yeah if the worst happens you guys can at least see some of it <laughs> right okay so you are now a melee only unit keep engaging their infantry with quickline, more cavalry joining the battle. Okay, my gunners might have to focus on the this little battle. Otherwise, we will fall, I think. We're not going to have enough men capable of Taking out the enemy. You attack the regiment of militia, you attack the centre as well. Some quick climb came in, but it's not going to be enough. The dragoons are charging in. You guys counter charge the 34th. 
28th are broken. Quick loan keep targeting units to the rear. It's cavalry are broken. Good. A one quick loan okay. Get my unit of gunners to start focusing on the men at the front. I think they might have run out of they might have now run out of men. This might be it. Oh damn, you guys get the hell out of dodge. You guys actually want to go over here. Keep dropping quick lime in. Push these guys up so they can also fire at will. I want to get you guys over there, over the bridge, and start to try and see if you can knock out some of their artillery. Although, to be honest, I think this is going to become a. Uh, Just an overwhelming swamping of men. To the point where I don't even think it's going to be possible. We just don't have enough ammunition. Oh, I had an audio little snafu there for a minute that I thought that was going to be it. Just hold. Hold. All my artillery, you hit the 22nd right there. You guys, round shot. Hit the 22nd. You guys, round shot. Hit the 5th. They may have finally ran out. After, you know, 40 odd minutes of constant engagement. We may now be witnessing the end game. That's my main artillery, you guys keep engaging. Oh no, they've still got some. You try quick climb general's bodyguard, you guys. Keep attacking the fifth. Oh, they're still coming. Okay, let's get you guys both attacking the artillery, see if that stops them from charging. No, it doesn't. Excellent hit. You can attack this regiment because they're coming in. They're coming in hot. The role of my troops is going to be to not die too quickly. Okay, now you get back on to attacking the fifth more men coming in superior line infantry grenadiers quick lime really not good we've not the artillery back my heavy horse artillery you guys need to do work friend get on to quick climbing their infantry you 
guys need to work on that religiously. You guys get to work on the fifth. Broken good stuff. Try hit the 37th at the back with the howitzers. guys keep my quick climbing how it says you guys keep <laughs> keep dropping shells on them come on fellas you've got so you've done so well Shells are landing around my general's bodyguard. More cavalry coming in. Quick climb hit, was it a good one? Probably not. Quick climbing our regiment of horse, let's pull them back. As we pour fire into their regiments with whatever ammunition we have. You hit their regiment of militia, I've got some gunners charging in now. Third regiment being cut down with musket fire. Gunners back here, still doing a good job against their guns. Can one of you work on this unit of houses. More cavalry charging in. You guys quick climb the general's bodyguard. Oh, near hit. Yeah, they're quick climbing us, we're quick climbing them. Okay, both of you guns. To be honest, both of your guns might now start working on. No. No, keep doing what I'm doing. Stick with the plan. Along comes the Swedish army again. Twenty yeah, second are not happy about it. Shuffle the line backwards again a bit. You guys drop into square formation. Let's get some cuirassiers over here. They've now realised the importance of my howitzers. Oh, big regiment of dragoons, that's not good. Not good at all. side of the general's bodyguard. Oh, 
artillery's pounded the dragoons. Okay. Okay, get back to doing what you were doing. Killed the enemy general. You guys are limber. Well, not limber. Get out of square formation. Because I think that's it. So now, it, now what it's about is a running artillery battle. So let's make you the subject of my direct fire fuel artillery. Let's make you guys subject to a howitzer unit and let's try and get my 24 pounder super duper artillery. Some dragoons coming in. That's quaint. Can you guys? Just charge my cuirassiers into them. back. This is it now. Just going to shell the crap out of each other um, until the battle clock runs out, probably. God damn. Okay, get my heavy horse artillery to attack. The 31st Regiment of Foot sat all the way back here in the safety of the uh, safety of the map. They're wavering. I hit the 34th. That was a that was so damn close. All they've got left is the 37th Regiment of Dragoons. If you can make the 34th route from artillery fire. Get both my quick climbing uh, artillery units. To engage the Dragoons. They are the last unit on the field. Well, apart from that, 13th Regiment. Good God alive, all these dead cavalrymen. There we go. They've routed as well. My God. Oh my God. Close victory. Damn right that was close. Oh my god, that's the biggest river before. 10,000 Swedes marched across the river. They lost 7,300 of them. So they've gone back. God alive. Please don't, don't do it again. <laughs> Please don't do it again. Oh, God alive. <laughs> what an hour episode. Just taken up by one massive battle. But this is it now, Sweden. It's on. It's on. Yeah, it would be useful to take the pirates. 24 grand. Catholic missionary, Ireland. Let's get the missionary over to London. Then we'll ship him over by boat. Pick up the steam-powered cloth mill. Two of them. But what we want to do is you, Vito Spero, your army is knackered, is the technical term. 
So a bunch of these guys. So combine the Swiss Guards, combine the Grenadiers. And the reason why I don't normally like combining troops, um, but the forces here are so weak, I really need to. Avanti per il paese e la corona. You get out here, bring the heavy horse artillery into the mix. We've got one more unit of good infantry, so let's take out... To be honest, merge the QSES. Yes. To be honest, send the cavalry over to Vito. Combine their units just to provide some support. Get them over, get the other horse guard artillery unit over there. Get you over there as well, just because, god damn. Get back on that bridge. Meanwhile, here in Paris, pick up troops, but I mean, it's just men. Men, men, men. Nothing fancy, nothing exotic. That's not what's needed at the moment. Bring up this Swiss line detachment from Spain. Pick up some more. Uh, no. no, it should really just be pick up two more Swiss infantry and pick up three more units of line. They can also march up. But I am going to want to do some upgrades to improve the economy. Because what am I on now? 30 grand, 30 grand even. Well, that's not too bad. Two, three, four, five infantry. Okay, you need two cavalry. Get a unit of heavy cavalry. Because you're being recruited in Britain. And let's get some hussars. Two turns, you'll be ready. Demand surrender. Okay, maintain siege for now. That's probably where I'm going to end up taking that priest, I think. Drop him up in Norway. Or I could demolish Trondheim and replace it with a Catholic. With a Catholic uh, thingamajig. I mean, I'm only to kill you, actually. Okay, let's upgrade some of these cheaper ports. Because <laughs> that. Man, that was a really, really big battle right there. Kill many units, but we damaged a significant amount, which I'll still take. Okay, Ernesto Defendi, can you leave Tripoli? No, they still hate your guts. Upgrade the church school, just to keep Tunis converted and happy. Port blockaded, yep. Antigua, can you leave yet? Nope. So would like to go. I would like to go hit Trinidad. Right, let's keep upgrading the religious buildings. And I think what I'd also like to do is take maybe even. Eh. So I want to kill them. But I think the best decision is to take these guys and sit them here to cover from any attacks across the strait. I may even get this priest to go on a long walk up towards Sweden for the conversion. But I'm going to go up to Christia. Actually, I've got no money. I don't want to. At I don't really want to attack when I've got no cash. So let's hit N10, see what happens. Because as, well, as good as that battle was against the Swedes, man, that took some uh, took some endurance. <laughs> to fight that all the time and they're going oh no we're going to lose we're going to win we're going to lose we're going to win ultimately uh, it got to the point where I had to have infantry that had no ammunition 
their job was just to stand there and be shot at while other units shot them. So they're all going to try and replenish. See if they put if they push. I don't think I've got the strength to hold them, so I really hope they don't. New Spain's going to help clean up the pirates. Good. So that army that's being recruited in Britain, I want to march them. I wanted to. Okay, we've got all our spies doing special things. You are replenishing like a madman. I'm probably going to try and recruit you guys into more of an actual army. So let's pick up... Pick up some skirmishes, some Swiss Mountain Jaeger. And then probably another two units of... Some grenadiers. Upgrade this industrial building. To be honest, let's do some industrial building upgrades. You guys are marching up. We're close to being done. One more turn. Let's get you over to Glasgow. Embark the priest. Let's drop him off anywhere in Christiana if you want to take it and then destroy the College of Divinity. Probably upgrade. Belfast is a fairly cheap upgrade. Upgrade this commercial port. Don't worry about fixing that yet. Fix the place you'll stay here in Paris. right now this is just a the forces here in France their job is to hold they're not to win their job is to hold so I might actually build up a force from Spain seekers 24 pounders let's get three units of those Two units, 24 pound of heavy horse artillery, which is what we need. Get some Swiss. Jaeger. And then that's probably going to be generally it. So I'm going to recruit an, a unit of infantry, just because. Engineer school gets us towards rockets, but don't really need rockets. New towns though. Tripoli, good. Church school. Royal Academy in Rome. Let's upgrade a place of the state here. And here to help boost Naples even more. Sorry, I'm completely aware that these guys are here. <laughs> So you need a bit more replenishment. We are massively over, you know, over uh, subscribed on artillery right there. So as you are now in a better place, I'm going to dump these guys over here in Tibito Sparrow's army. That's more like it. You can have. No, actually you're getting, you're recruiting special artillery, so you guys hang about for now. I think the best thing is probably uh, to attack Christiana, to capture it, in order to be able to knock down this College of Divinity, and to open up a f northern flank to try and potentially take Sweden's homeland. 
Um, but yes, that's been one hell of an episode and I'm way over my limit. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed and we'll see you next time for the assault on Norway, one of the first offensive actions against uh, the Swedish Empire. Cheers, everyone.